harsh rhetoric between President Obama and the Republicans have over the night changed the market sentiment in Washington. That has also had a very strong impact on the markets. Uh, it was big optimism uh, during uh, the beginning of the week regarding then a solution on the negotiations uh, on the budget to avoid a fiscal cliff. These negotiations have now stalled and the parties are then changing mutual uh, accusations. As a result, the stock markets in the United States fell yesterday after being positive the whole week. Dow Jones were, was down 0.78% uh, and uh, the big winners earlier in the week as Bank of America, General Electric, they were losing ground. This has also then uh, been the situation to a certain degree in Asia this morning where uh, the stock markets reached an 18-month high yesterday. The uh, decision of the Bank of Japan to uh, take active steps for monetary easing has, ho has however changed the picture a little bit and now the stocks and the markets in uh, Asia are more or less flat. The markets are also up in South Korea after the election of a new president. In Australia, the markets are up. On the currency front, the uh, euro US dollar reached 133 level yesterday. Uh, it has fallen back today uh, to 132.10. Uh, on the uh, uncertainty regarding then whether it would be possible to reach uh, uh, budget compromise in, uh, uh, between the president and his opponents. The yen uh, also is uh, stabilizing around 84 yen to a dollar. Uh, the uh, the uh, quarrels that we again see among the two major parties in the United States have had the negative sentiment impact in the markets and I think that would be marking uh, the development today both with regards to the currencies and to regards to the stock markets. I wish traders a very good trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus.